What's up, YouTube? Uh, back with another video. Finally, it's been about two weeks. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna kinda clarify everything. I know my first three videos that I've put out are kinda all over the place, but I will let you know in this video what the plan is. I'm gonna put it all together for you guys to get a little more understanding. All right, so today I'm gonna attempt to tint the windows on my new Hyundai Sonata, but meanwhile, in between uh, me doing that, I'm gonna kind of explain this YouTube channel a little bit more. I know in my other videos I posted about eBay as a side hustle. I still plan on posting about that, but I'm gonna kind of tie it in with, I'm only doing it so I have a side hustle income to kind of help me build a drift car. And that's where my first video came up. I wanted to buy a drift car. I was asking you guys what drift car I should buy, yada yada. And uh, instead of finding one, I haven't found one yet, but I have a car sitting here and I actually have three of them from my dad. He passed a few years ago, but I'm sitting here thinking, why shouldn't I? You know, why not? Why why should I not build these cars? I have three of them sitting around and I will show you guys what that car is right now. three of these sitting around they are the years might change on uh, the red one or the black one but they're 72 I think Opal GTs <laughs> um, yeah no I think I can get it running and as you can see in the video um, it does have a 13B arc 7 motor in it and rear end <laughs> or off of an RX-7, um, I'm thinking, I think my dad, uh, put in like a 80, 83, 84 rear end, not really sure, I, I gotta look at that, but yeah, it's completely gutted and everything, it does have a lot of rust, but hey, I'm just wanting to get out on the track and do some drifting, and it's already a beater, so might as well get it running and take it out and beat it up more, you know? So I don't, I don't have to care about denting it or anything. I have a spare car for any fenders or, you know, whatever. But yeah, so I guess I'm going to go over and start tinting the windows on my other car. But I kind of wanted to just do a video really quick kind of explaining what I'm going to do with it. Sorry guys, this is a weird angle to be talking. But yeah, anyway. Um, so here in a week, pull this out of the back area where it's par been parked for a while um yeah pull it out clean it up give you guys a video probably now plan is throw a different uh another used rx7 engine 13 b or whatever i love the rotary engines don't know much about them so you guys will learn with me but yeah and hopefully i can teach you guys something about m making a side hustle to help other hobbies you know i have a full-time job but i want a little extra money to put into my other hobbies and whatnot have some freedom yeah appreciate you guys if you subscribe and like this video and look forward to posting more videos for you guys
guys are still watching, this is what I got to tint the windows. I've never done this, so I'm not going to video much. I said I need a heat gun, so I borrowed my sister's blow dryer. Yep. Got all the essentials. It says this is a tent application kit. Should get the job done. Hopefully I can do it. Well, three hours later, four hours later, I don't know. It's done. Tinted. Looks pretty good for my first time, but I mean, there are some flaws in there. There's a couple bubbles and whatnot, but not bad. Less than $40. Not bad for my own tent.